Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. This video is part 12 of the transformation of my Ford Falcon 1985 model into a tribute racing car. Uh, this video will be covering prep and masking for the racing stripes on the body. Uh, this paint livery was uh, used on the 1993 uh, Australian Touring Car Championship winning EB Ford Falcon. Uh, Peter Jackson Racing uh, used it on a couple of different cars as well and I decided to put it on my car because it looks pretty cool. And um, those who have been watching uh, the previous videos will know that uh, I got the entire car painted in one weekend and this video is the first video uh, covering the second week of work. So as you can see, the car's back on the road and I was driving it around again and this is uh, on the following Saturday. Um, the previous video was doing the racing stripes on the bumper bars and this is just the, the prep work to, to do the racing stripes on the body. So once I've, I'm happy that I've got the, the lines on the quarter panels masked out because the touch of the bottom is going to stay blue. Um, I've decided to pull the bumper bar and that lower valance panel back off. And now we're just doing the uh, sanding for, uh, for the racing stripes. That, that masking there that you saw me putting on just a minute ago was uh, just for the sake of not hitting it, uh, hitting the uh, blue when I'm sanding it down. So it's obvious it's going to be uh, taken off and remasked prior to painting. 400 grit and in my left hand is some 500 grit. Uh, you could replace that 500 grit by some uh, grey scotch bright if you like, if you're doing something like this at home. And uh, this is my, my own idea. One of my mates had uh, a good idea we sort of had it together. I, I liked the idea of doing a race car and my mate said, oh, you should have a look at Peter Jackson Racing's livery. And I said, wow, that's a pretty cool one and I think I can do that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and in the journey of doing this car, I've found so many people had uh, their two cents worth or, you know, their ideas. Uh, they tell you they, they, they think you should do this, should do that. And... Some, although it's good to listen to other people, sometimes you just got to do what you want. And I had a vision uh, in my head of what the car was going to look like when it was finished. And I just had to do that. Uh, if I do what everyone else wanted me to do, it would have looked completely different. I would have spent, spent a hell of a lot more money on it. I did it relatively cheap. It would have cost me about three and a half grand all up, including everything. So it's still to come in the next few videos, uh, we've got uh, the installation of the bonnet scoop, that boot spoiler that you see there, that'll be in one of the later videos that I make. We'll cover the painting first, then we'll get into some of those uh, wheel videos as well. I'll put some different wheels onto it. And once these videos are done, I'll be, uh, so each Sunday I've been uploading a video on this car. and. Um, I'll also be uploading a, a set of videos on the next car that I've bought, which is a VL Commodore, which is a 87 model, and it's got a 3 litre Nissan turbo in it, 5 speed manual, so it's going to be a bit of a weapon when it's done, it's going to go real quick, and uh, it's going to be done up like a race car too, like a mobile 05 Peter Brock model race car. So we've got it all in the booth and uh, doing that masking up. I'm just spending a bit more time on the masking on this one because um, cause it's uh, yellow and uh, red that we're putting on it. Um, any overspray is really going to stand up. Uh, if I was just doing blue down like uh, normal refinishing, um, blue on blue is not really going to stand out. But these uh, second and third colours, any overspray is uh, really going to stand out. And you're going to have to clean it off extra. So I just uh, continuing on without masking. Unfortunately, uh, I was going to in include a little bit more footage than this in this video, but um, uh, my editing program was uh, mucking up on me and 
it just wasn't working, it simply wasn't working, so um, we'll have to leave that for next week, hopefully I can uh, improve it and get it working again. So just a, just a quick video, uh, some of these videos I'll try to keep them to around the 20, 20 minute mark and people seem to still be watching them and enjoying them, so um, this one's just a quick one, 7 minute video. Hang around, uh, we've got a quick look at the car. It's actually, since this uh, clip at the end, I've uh, put a chrome rock cover on it, and that's about it. So the engine that's in it is a 250 Crossflow Carby engine, so it's a 4.1 litre. Uh, it's got a simple carby on it. Single barrel carby. They're pretty uh, well known, well born engine. They were in some English cars as well. I was watching a TV show. They had exactly the same engine. They're pretty, pretty popular. Easy to work on as you can see. Uh, pretty basic engine but you get a lot of power out of them. It's the kind of thing that I open the button on that and I say to myself, well I can I can do this, I can I can work on it. You open the bottom on some of the newer cars and it just, uh, with all the electronics, it's sort of a bit beyond me, but uh, that's what I like about these old cars, easy to work on. So you can see it's a pretty nice interior in it, I did all that myself. Had a lot of uh, attention to detail, all those uh, nuts and bolts have been touched up, all that kind of stuff inside the door jams. Sweet. Thanks again for watching and this has been a Gun Man production. Goodbye.